Hey guys, welcome back. Happy New Year. 2022 is about personal growth. And when I say that, that doesn't mean that I have never worked on myself until this point. But personal growth is something that I really think that everybody should work on to some extent or in some context. And I'm just at a place right now where I'm really ready to kick it up a notch. Now, I know I can't be the only person who experiences this, but when I start to get into a new hobby or a new interest, I kind of start to get this feeling like, you know, it's now or never, and my daily, regular daily activities kind of fall to the wayside. And when I started getting all fired up about putting a video out on January 1st, outlining my plans for this channel for the year and for the content, I started to get really stressed out when I realized like I wasn't ready and the video wasn't gonna be perfect. And that made me take a step back because, you know, I do this as a hobby project because I love doing it and, you know, I want to get better at it along with the other hobbies that I do that I use for the content on this channel and getting stressed, you know, just wasn't doing it for me. Uh, so part of the 2022 personal growth plan is self care. And in this context, that means taking a step back and, you know, if something's going to stress me out, then I'm just not going to do it. Uh, unless it's something that I have to do, in which case we got to find a way to work around the stress. It does have its benefits in some instances, but we don't want stress to be an overarching theme in our lives. So that's why I waited a couple weeks to post my first video of 2022. Now, 2022 being about personal growth, part of that is that I want to share part of my journey of to where I am now, because it hasn't been that long since I was in a place within myself where I really stopped doing most of the things I love. You know, I had all these ideas and passions and creative projects that I wanted to work on. But you know, I either couldn't find the time or the motivation to really push those past the phase of being an idea. I also stopped playing music. I stopped kind of cooking and my exercise regime started to fizzle out and eventually was non-existent. I got busy with work, you know, busy with my social life. And then the pandemic hit and I, you know, I realized that lacking of motivation and time for creating and being creative isn't something that happened overnight. It kind of slowly crept up on me over a couple years until one day I looked around and realized like I'm not really creating anything. And the seldom times that I do, it kind of feels forced. So when I met Daniela, you know, things kind of changed. Being with her made me really want to be the best version of myself and manifest my ambitions into something tangible and to be true to myself. You know, she pushed me out of my comfort zone and made me see the world from new perspectives. And that really changed everything for me. And for that, I have to thank her. Now, when I realized how lucky I was to have had somebody come into my life that kind of gave me the little push I needed to get to the place where I could help myself overcome these things, it's another reason why I wanted to make this channel. I knew I wanted to make YouTube videos and I didn't really know where to start or what I wanted to make videos about. And then one day it clicked. I could make videos sharing my experiences of doing the things I love and, you know, learning new things the way that I always jump around and stuff and, you know, offer any advice or tips or tricks that I could, but also show that I'm not perfect and you don't have to be the best at something to be passionate about it. You know, I want to make videos of new hobbies and sharing experiences to, show that you know these hobbies don't have to be intimidating and they can be more accessible and you know if i can share these experiences with people then maybe i can be that for someone else who needs it so it's been a slow process but one of the major creative endeavors that's come out of this is this youtube channel which is something that i've wanted to do for a very long time uh, i grew up in what we used to call the black hole black hole of ontario because you know, they just got usable high-speed internet a couple months ago, and the weather's always way worse there for some reason. But, like, I remember being a kid, huddled around, waiting, you know, four or five hours for this five-minute YouTube video to buffer over dial-up. And, you know, with that, it kind of made being part of the YouTube community seem inaccessible, and, you know, it wasn't really an option. And, you know, I kind of slowly stopped thinking about it to the point where I hadn't thought about it in years. And then you fast forward a million years later, I moved back to Toronto. Me and Danielle have been going out for a while and we're talking about YouTube and getting all fired up. And I went out and I bought my first GoPro, like convinced I was gonna start a YouTube channel, but it was like another two years before I posted my first video. And like, I was a really shy kid, like. Wouldn't present in front of the class, hide under the dining room table, our family came over kind of shy. And I started to grow out of it, but when I really got to high school is when I kind of really came out of my shell. And it's something I still work on, but it makes me feel empowered to be able to overcome something that held me back for so long to pursue something I'm passionate about. 
So if you watched my first YouTube video, I talk a lot about how I hyper-focus on something and then I get distracted and then I do that and then I get distracted and then I do that. And that's kind of, I think, what started to happen with this YouTube channel. At the beginning, I like hustled to get decent at the kind of videos that I was trying to put out. And when I got to that place where I could kind of skate by on the quality that I was able to pr produce, I really stopped striving to get better and just kind of sat with that. And 2022 is about personal growth and I want to push myself to get better. And a great way I think to do that is to expand the kind of content that I'm making. And one of the ways I'm doing that is like by making this video where instead of me just showing you something that I'm doing and offering you tips and tricks on how to do it so you can do it, I'm, you know, I'm talking to you about something that's a, you know, pretty personal and a little bit more profound than the normal stuff that I talk about. And that's how I wanted to start 2022 by pushing myself to overcome fear and maybe by sharing that little bit of my story, you know, letting somebody else know that they can also find the strength within themselves to overcome something that's been holding them back. So what does this all mean for the content on Rabbit Hole Hobbies for 2022? Well, last year, I started off with this goal that I was gonna put out 100 videos because everywhere I researched about YouTube, Everybody said, you gotta put out 100 videos. That's what you gotta do to really get started, blah, blah, blah. And a big, you know, I didn't even come close. I only put out 35 videos. And I think a big reason because of that is I was a little bit nervous about expanding my content further and further and further from what I was already doing. I know I did a lot of research into that too. And, and all these YouTube gurus and all this stuff is like, you gotta niche down, you gotta get really super specific on what you're doing. And I'm sitting here like, but I wanna do less specific stuff. And I kinda just didn't know what to do, so I just ran with the few things that I was already doing. And we're not gonna do that this year. I'm doing this because I'm passionate about it and I wanna share this stuff with you, so I'm not gonna worry about any of that. We're gonna do all kinds of fun stuff this year. And my goal for this year is to put out at least 50 videos, which I think is super attainable. And I'm gonna try really hard to, to follow through with that. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna still do videos on mini painting and we're gonna build some models and we're gonna do lots of cooking. And hopefully we'll get in some camping and more avocado tree updates because the tree's down there growing and I got some more starting. Um, you'll have to wait for that video on that. And I also talked to Daniela as a creative content consultant and we kind of talked about some stuff for a while and we came to the conclusion that maybe I should start trying to put out more of a vlog style format. And I don't want to switch completely over to that. So I think maybe starting in February, hopefully we'll see how everything goes. I am going to start trying to incorporate a little bit more vlog style content onto the channel. And then you can see a little bit about what goes on around here outside of the specific hobby projects we do. Um, that's going to be another learning curve, but that's what we're here for to learn new things and try them out. And I know I got you guys back when I try that. So as bear with me while we figure out the formatting on that and you know how that's going to interact with the content we're already making on the channel. And apart from that, I mean, January is international get back in shape month. And, uh, I got to hustle for those wedding shots. So I used to do a lot of hobbies that involved fitness and exercise, and I've let it slip a while too long and I want to get back into that. And if you're interested in checking out any of that stuff, let me know in the comments because I am going to be getting back into some of that stuff. And I want to, you know, share a little bit about that with you guys because I have done quite a bit of research on it back in the day when I started getting into it. Exercise is super important for mental health and therefore it's super important for everything else you're doing. So we're going to definitely be incorporating some of that into our routine from now on. This year, I'm also going to try a lot of new things that I want to share with you guys. I got lots of new stuff I want to try. Some things that I've been kind of holding on to, getting ready, you know, waiting for the right moment to post the video or the right amount of time to be able to do it. But we're just going to get into it and start doing it whenever we can because that's, that's the plan for this year. So if you liked this story time or you got something out of it or you know somebody who might get something out of it, please like this video so it gets out there and share it with somebody who you think needs to see it or would benefit from seeing it. And like I said, leave a comment. And if you haven't already done it, hit subscribe and hit that notification bell because 2022 is about personal growth and we got lots of fun stuff coming up that you can do inside and out. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.